Hey friends, welcome to our channel. Do you dream of being a modern homesteader? What is your vision for that and where does that vision come from? Today I'm gonna to show you the reality of what our homestead is like compared to some not so real examples that are floating out there. Let's talk about it. So all of us have homesteading dreams and we all start off in different places with slightly different dreams. Ours was to create a self-sufficient place that we could raise our family away from the insanity of the city. We wanted to grow our own food and eventually be completely off-grid. Off-grid not only meaning energy systems, but food systems as well. And nine years later, we are still working on that. And all of us are gonna be starting off at different places to begin with. So some people are okay with starting off with a blank canvas and some people will have to start with a blank canvas, meaning you've just got some raw land that you were able to purchase or are financing and you are living there on a tent and starting to slowly build up your homestead. Or you've bought a cheap RV that you can sleep in or a yurt or whatever it is and you are just starting from scratch and building up from there. And that's awesome. And the reality of that is it is a massive amount of work. Some people are financially able to do other things like purchase a small house like we did. And some people are able to do everything at one time, build a big, beautiful house and a nice shop and barn and get all of the equipment. But let me talk about the reality of that. It takes a decent amount of money to get going. Now, yes, if you're living in a tent and you dig your own outhouse, you are saving a good amount of money depending on what your career is. But even the reality of that is you need to buy a lot of tools to be able to build, to be able to farm, to be able to take care of livestock, etc. So my advice to you is start saving now. Get a nice nest egg about maybe two to three years of savings for your move out to the country. That's gonna be really difficult for a lot of people to do, but that is like a bare minimum, honestly, to be able to cover what you need in order to move forward out here. If you wanna buy fruit trees, you need lumber, you need all of this material to be able to build. Also, not many people have the skills to be able to cut down their own trees, mill them, and use that lumber to start building on the property. Those type of people are very few. And for an example for us, we rented our house first, then we found this property, but we were still paying a mortgage on our other house in Houston. So until that house sold, we were paying essentially a double mortgage and our savings were starting to dwindle. But one of us was able to find a job to be able to supplement that move. And some people will have a ton of savings where they can come out, build their own house, like I said, and just start off super fast. Everyone is different, but everyone can do it. But you need one thing that's very, very important, and that's a plan. Okay, let me show you really quick what was here and what was not here when we moved onto our property. All that water reclamation stuff behind us, I have done. The barn was here already, but from here all the way over to the house, there was nothing. It was just open field. There were a few trees that I cut down, but the garden, the greenhouse, the chicken coop, and all of these fruit trees were not here. We planted all of them. And that takes a while to do. So that must be part of your plan. Part of your plan also must be the realization that fruit trees take years and years to produce. So you are not going to Lowe's and grabbing some random apple tree or peach tree, sticking it in the ground, and then getting peaches the next year. It just doesn't work like that. We spent a ton of time and effort and blood, sweat, and tears to install the solar system, to install, or rather plant, all of the grapevines and all of the fruit trees that you see. It takes time, it takes planning, it takes money. Another reality is things break. Like our water tank here, if you saw a couple of weeks ago, we cracked the line. And that's because when I put it together, I just put it on a sand base. So now I'm digging this out, it's taking time to fix it, and we are going to put a gravel base. And also, if you do have infrastructure and it is a little bit older, things can happen to it, like the roof could rip off. And that is a big job that I just haven't gotten to yet that I've let go maybe a little too long. And if you need equipment on your homestead, you might wanna look into some good quality used equipment, and that's what we've had to do. 
This tractor has served us well. It is a 24 year old tractor, but the bones are good, even though it leaks a little bit and smokes. And I searched for a long time for a side-by-side, -side, which is a very useful tool on a larger property. And make sure when you are buying used equipment that you know what you are looking for. And if you can't afford new equipment, that's awesome. Go for it. Not everybody can. And if you can afford things like this, they are valuable on a homestead, even though uh, they can be a pain sometimes. Like howling with coyotes at four o'clock in the morning. And as we've saved over the years, we've been able to upgrade our chicken coops and other items on our homestead. But in doing that, we've spent a decent amount of money. So it is all work out here all the time to be able to maintain and pay for the things that you need. Now I wanna ask you, where does your vision come from? I strive really hard on this channel to show reality. In all the projects and all the videos that we do, I'm trying to show you all the work that goes into it, the dirty fingernails, the ripped shirts, and the things that break, like the water tank and the roof. The modest equipment, like the old tractor. But where does your vision come from? Is it coming from TikTok and Instagram? Because that is probably not reality. I do post pictures on Instagram, but that's really what they are, is just pictures of things that are happening around here. But now the videos that are on TikTok and Instagram can be extremely misleading. A majority of those small video clips are not showing the whole picture. I did watch one the other day that showed a person, a lady, going from canning to cleaning out the chicken coop to another project to another project to another project. In reality, probably the canning is going to take her the entire day. Now this particular person was in some normal looking work clothes and it looks like she actually does all that work. But in reality, make sure you don't get discouraged because you see them doing all these jobs in one day. It just doesn't happen like that. I just don't want you to get discouraged. So be very careful about where you are getting your dream from. Friends, way too many of those video clips show brand new, pristine equipment in a really nice, newly built house that has all the cool farm decor everywhere. Very few people can afford to do that today in 2025. So I don't want that to be your vision. I don't want you to see that and try to attain that because it may lead to discouragement and I don't want you to leave the countryside once you've moved out there. I want you to stay there and never move back to the city. Look, a big reality I wanna talk about is the fact that you need a plan before you start out. And here's the deal. You are going to need to change that plan multiple times over the course of your time on your homestead. Plans need to change. They need to constantly evolve because there are always unforeseen things that will arise, like in everything in life. Successful homesteading is all about backup plans. But Mike Tyson famously said it, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. And let me tell you, out here on your homestead, there are a lot of punches in the face. You have to learn how to come back from those. Be flexible and be adaptable and make sure your family members are also flexible and adaptable because that is one of the biggest strains that you might feel. You gotta make sure your friends and family, whoever you are homesteading with, are all on the same page and very flexible. And friends, it will be tough on relationships. Those times when you drift apart in the vision that you had for your homestead to begin with. You're gonna have to work through it, and I'm gonna tell you, it's going to be there. So it has to be worked on over and over and over again. Okay, here is another major reality. Do you plan on trying to live off your homestead and make a living on your homestead? In reality, that is a huge initial investment depending on what you are doing. You need the initial investment, you need a business plan. You need the market research and development and you need a decent amount of time. And you need all of that before you quit your day job. Unless of course, you have the means initially to quit your day job, invest and start that business right away. I mean, if you want to just jump out into the middle of the woods and whittle sticks and sell them on Etsy, you can do that. But I highly doubt that's ever gonna pay for your family's bills. And that takes into account the fact that you don't have any debt. You need a constant source of income to cover that debt. Whittling sticks or making candles is probably not going to do it. Now in terms of farming or 
more specifically market gardening, that might be a little bit different story. But you still have the investment, you still have to write that business plan, and you still need to do your market research. And you need to be prepared for what to do if that endeavor fails. We have a couple of really dear friends who were having the dream of market gardening. They were doing great for a couple of years, but it financially was not working out. So one of the family members had to go back to work. The other family member and the kids had to run the farm. And it was just so much of a strain that they couldn't do it anymore. And that story is not unique to them. I have heard numerous stories of that happening. So you need to have the backup plan. You need to have faith that you will be led by God in the correct direction to be able to provide for your family. And he will do that. But you have to be willing to adapt and be flexible and change that plan. Now here's another big reality is you get excited, you move out, you get a homestead. It is huge. You have a lot of land. You have a lot of infrastructure. It takes a massive amount of work constantly to be able to take care of all that. So if you've purchased that and you have plans for it, you may not have time for much else. And it may become too much to manage. So keep in mind, if you have 100 acres and you plan on doing firewood for your business, that's awesome. But that's probably all you are going to be doing. Make sure you are not biting off more than you can chew. And I've actually made this mistake here. I've got several projects that I just do not have time to finish, especially taking into consideration that I'm homeschooling my children. That takes up a massive amount of time because of the supervision needed and the help and the teaching that needs to happen with them. So friends, the best advice that I can give in any situation, including homesteading, is my personal testimony of what has worked and what has not worked for us. If you go back and look at many of our videos, I do show some big failures that we have had here on the property. And sometimes those failures have been because I didn't hire somebody where I had a good amount of knowledge on how to do a project, but it just wasn't enough. And then something happened and the project was a failure, but that's okay because I learned from those failures. So it's not all bad. And keep in mind that you are always learning. So it might take you a few years to learn how to do something like putting together a solar system. Just be diligent in your study and don't get ahead of yourself. All right, friends, that's all I have for you today. I hope that was encouraging, but I want you to really understand homesteading reality versus dreams and visions that are already out there by other people. They're two different things. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comment section below. Now go check out this video right here, which YouTube tells me you are going to love. Have a beautiful, blessed day. See you next time. Bye.